Thanks for finding Like a Hawk. Hope things are going well for all of you. Today is Just the Hits, my weekly recap show of the hits I got in my breaks last week. This is just a courtesy for those that don't have enough time to watch all individual breaks during the week to just keep up with what's going on on the channel. And I appreciate everybody, everybody supporting everybody's uh, views. And of course, I appreciate the subscribers as well. We are getting extremely close to giving out this Babe Ruth bat card. Once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to be giving out this game-used New York bat card of Babe Ruth. So we are at 99, and a big jump was in big part to Chris G613. I'll be posting a link to his video and also a link to his channel down below. He has a monstrous giveaway, and he put my channel within the giveaway requirements. So I really appreciate that. And in turn, he had a big monster hit this week that I want to call out. It was in his August Brother and Cards break. He had a monster rookie hit. I'm not going to say what it is, but I highly recommend checking out that video and seeing what that is all about. And I appreciate Chris G613's support. So give him a like, give him a subscribe. He's pushing his way to 500 and he's got a big giveaway that I think everybody will like on his channel. Other subscribers hits this week. We had Gary S. through Topps Archives. He hit a Bill Madlock auto, which was very cool. If you're not familiar with Bill Madlock, a great uh, hitter during the 70s and 80s. He was actually an ex-cub. Um, so congrats, Gary, on that. Lance Graham had a 1-in-1 one -one Iconics Parallel Red from 2018 Heritage. Huge pull. Congrats, Lance, on that one. Uh, Wickelex had a Melky Cabrera printing plate. So congratulations on that. Victor Negron had a Bliss Kiss card out of 99 and a Becky Heritage Auto. He's also working on the Heritage and Bronze set. Um, just a huge, huge hit. Uh, he even showed it off. I'd highly recommend going to Victor's channel and checking that out. I'll also put a description to his channel in the description. And finally, Josh N. had some big news in his life. He got a new factory job with great pay, and he's going to start up a channel. So once he starts up, I will post a link to his channel in uh, the video that I do mention that. So, Josh, big congratulations on that. Well done. Now we're going to get into the hits throughout the week. So we started with Monday doing a box of Allen and Ginter X. This is the black version of the regular Allen and Ginter product. And it seemed like, this is my second box, and it seemed like you get one of these red parallels to five in each of the boxes, and then you get an autograph. So my, I had a, a celebrity box um, this time around. So we have a Steve Simeon or Simone. Three out of five on that one. So that was the red parallel out of that. And then our autograph was Jack Sock, who I mentioned I had no idea who this was. So evidently he is a tennis player, and he was in the top ten last year. He's not doing too well in singles, but as far as doubles, he is third ranked in the U.S. Open right now, and he's won numerous champions through this championships throughout this year. So that's who Jack Sock was. And thank you for everybody that told me who the heck Jack Sock was because I am not a tennis fan in any means, so I did not know. So next up in Wednesday, we had a like a intermediate break because I was waiting on my Undisputed. And in that break, we did a blaster box of Heritage. I wasn't expecting to hit much. I'm going to go through the bronze parallels real quick. So we had a Alexa Bliss bronze. Had an Adam Cole, Bebe, bronze. We had a Titus O'Neil worldwide. We had a nice Becky Lynch, bronze. And then we had a Maurice, bronze as well. And we had, I think, believe this was the Ric Flair Hall of Fame parallel that was in that. But our hit that came out of this, you're, you're guaranteed a relic card. And I wasn't expecting much out of this, but it turns out when you're not expecting much, that's when the big hits happen. So this was a Dean Ambrose... Authentic TLC matte relic. You can see some, I don't think you see some of that dirt on there still. This sucker was out of 10. One out of 10. So because of this, I am doing a hit it forward. So if you're new to the channel, hit it forwards mean when I get a hit, I then pass along the good fortune to somebody else. 
in the means of giving some type of hit out to the subscribers. So the reason I'm doing a hit, or I also did another uh, a break of the Women's Revolution. I got a, a Naomi uh, relic to 199. I believe this was when she won the title, so that's really kind of cool to get a relic in her on the same same card. But because I hit the Dean Ambrose out of 10, I'm giving away this Sami Zayn to 50 undisputed auto. Um, I can either scratch off the code on the back or I can send you the card if you like that. This giveaway um, and the next one I'm going to mention, it ends Tuesday at 8 central. So if you're watching this in time, go to the Blaster uh, video break and see how to enter. Again, you have to be a subscriber to be entered in that giveaway. So that's what happened on Wednesday. I also got a Nakamura coin. If you're interested in the coin, each blaster of Heritage, you get one of these coins. I think there's one out of ten. So I got Nakamura in that one. And then on Thursday, I had to do a bonus wrestling break because Undisputed, the, my favorite set of all, of all year, finally released. And I'm just going to go through these hits. So the first, we'll go through the number card. So I have a Usos to 25, 15 out of 25. I had a Orton, 30 years of Survivor Series. That was 49 out of 50. I had Mayor Kane, 9 out of 50, green parallel. I had a nice Nakamura. I like how the colors go with him. 10 out of 99 for Nakamura. And then I had a John Cena, 30 years of Royal Rumble. That is 66 out of 99 in that one. And now let's go through the hits that I got. I got another hit at Ford, but before I get into which card it was, we're going to do the hits. So we got Chad Gable, 3 out of 25, authentic shirt relic. We then had a Eric Young to 50, autograph, 45 to 50. Had an Ang English, 29 out of 50, autograph relic. And yeah, that's right, I got another Ang Aiden English, 64 out of 99, autograph relic. So, not sure about the sorting there, but we got a Roman Reigns, 68 out of 99, relic. We got a Dash Wilder to 99. Looks like uh, 10 out of 99 on that one. Cassius Ono, 99 out of 199 on that one. I like the exclamation mark on the auto. Bray Wyatt, who's decided to not sign his last name anymore, uh, 3 out of 199 on that one. And then Carmella, 17 out of 199. And the reason I'm doing a hit it forward is because I hit something wonderful. And that was a Matt Hardy. 5 out of 5 auto. So because I hit this 5 out of 5, this wonderful piece, delightful piece of Matt Hardy, 5 out of 5 for the auto, I am giving away a Kurt Angle autograph. So it looks to me that that is also... No, I was going to say it's on card. No, it looks... it's It, it almost looks like it's on auto, but it is going to look like a sticker here to me. Um, when he was in TNA, he signed... And if you notice in his Undisputed, he kind of signed on himself. So this time you can actually see his, his autograph here. I'm giving this away. So again, if you go to the Undisputed break, see how you can hit it forward and try to win this Kurt Angle. Again, this is going to be a cutoff Tuesday at 8 Central. And I'll be giving this away along with the Sami Zayn uh, individual giveaways. So go ahead and, and look at those. On Friday, I did a box of Panini Chronicles. So the cool thing about Panini Chronicles is... They put baseball players within 15 different types of their products. And it's very cool if you're not familiar with a lot of that stuff to actually see baseball players in some of the things that normally baseball players wouldn't be in, their, their sets they wouldn't be in. So I'm just going to go through the numbered cards first. So we have a Raphael Devers. This is a Prism Raphael Devers. And that was out of 149 on that one. You then have a Bryce Harper who's in the classic form, if you're familiar with the football set. That was 88 out of 99 on that one. Then have a nice Raphael Dever Select. I like the orange. Very cool. That is out of 199. I then had a Walker Bueller Press, pu press Proof. Say that five times fast. Uh, uh, 83 out of 299 on that one. I also had a Gleiber Torres out of 299. Unfortunately, it was mailed with a little ding in the bottom here, but still a nice hit. Gleiber Torres 
out of 299. You then get a couple of these big uh, spectra cards within. If you could see how thick these are, that's normally for a mem, but these are actually a, a base card. So I got an Ahmed Rosario spectra, and that was numbered out of 99. So kind of cool to get a, a rookie card out of 99. And then I got a Jose Abreu spectra. And that is not numbered. And that's how the backs of those look. So that's kind of cool to get some base like that. Uh, we also got some Otanis. Um, I will say the big hit out of the box was this Giancarlo Stanton, Giancarlo Stanton uh, relic when he was on Miami. And this is actually game worn, game used, excuse me. Um, and this is out of 49. I don't know if you can see that. 24 out of 49 in the bottom. So that was very cool to have a relic that's game used. Uh, Andrew Stevenson was also numbered, 90 out of 99. Autograph. Scott Kingry, who I'm hoping is going to still be a great hitter. He, I heard a lot of great things about him going in. It's just been hard for him to get a, a spot, a consistent spot to play with uh, on, the, on the, the baseball diamond. But Scott Kingry, auto. And then my nemesis, Paul Blackburn, if you know my chrome openings. I've hit him twice in both of my chromes, and this is the third time I've hit him. He uh, hasn't been doing too well, although he's young. He's still 24, so maybe he'll work things out and, and be successful. So that's what happened in, in Chronicles. And then I had another bonus break this week. I did a Guardians of the Galaxy box. Um, I sometimes are going to do these non-sport because I like these non-sport cards. So I had a numbered hit. This was a, a base. This is out of 99. If you notice that purple Guardians badge in the back, that's going to tell you that that's a base. So my hits in the box were an Ego Galactic Garb. This is not numbered, but very cool on that. I then had a dual relic, a red and blue. So I can kind of move this around to see the red and the blue. Of Nebula and Drax. That is also not numbered. And then the autograph hit was kind of cool. I actually did some searching afterwards. I think this is a 1 in 30, um, 1 in 30 hit. It's a dual autograph. Uh, Craglin and Tulk. Sean Gunn, who is the director's brother, is was Craglin in that. And then on the back was Tommy Flanagan. So that was Tommy Flanagan up there. So very cool to hit a dual auto. There's the back of the, of the autograph to come out of there. So uh, a lot of very interesting week. Um, again, if you have hit anything that you'd like me to shout out, please put it in any of the comments during the week and I'll add those to the list like I did this week and give you a shout out just to let everybody know what kind of hits you've been getting. Uh, again, check out Chris G613. Uh, again, his description and his link to the video and his channel will be in the description. I will look out this week for the uh, 100, when I hit 100 of giving this away, this Babe Ruth is going to be its own special video about requirements and how to be entered into getting this Babe Ruth game used New York bat card when we hit 100. And then also, I just really appreciate everyone checking out this video. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to be part of the giveaways, hit the subscribe button below. Again, I told you before, feel free to tell me about your hits in the comments. I always love to hear about what is happening with everyone out there. And of course, there's social media, Instagram and Twitter, like a hawk cards, all one word. I hope you have a lot of luck in your next break. And thanks for watching, like a hawk.